This is Louise for MMA Crazy and I'm here with John Phillips who fights Charles Bird at UFC Fight Night London. Now uh, you've been signed to the UFC for a while now right and um, why has it taken so long to finally get to this point? Um, yeah I've signed for UFC now for do you want me to grab it or? Hmm? Do you want me to grab it or? No, no, no? I've signed for UFC for come up to two years now nearly and um, I had some visa complications and a fight fell through and also I had a really nasty injury where I needed uh, knee surgery so it's just been a, a prolonged, very prolonged debut. So how does it feel now being at the media day finally in this moment? How, how does it feel? It just feels magical. I, I got, you know, I can't lie, it just feels magical. It feels surreal looking around, seeing the lights on me and the cameras on me. It's just, this is great and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to soak up every second and really enjoy the experience. So you're fighting Charles Bird who's also making his UFC debut. Yeah. Do you know much about him at all? Um, he's a good all-rounder. He's got wins and losses by all different men. Mina, um, yeah, he's a tough guy. He's coming for scrap. You know, he's come over here. He's coming to win. I'm coming to win. It's, it's going to be fireworks. And have you watched any tape on him? And what do you think of his performances? Yeah, previously? I've uh, uh, on any opponent that I fight, I obviously, obviously watch all the fights I can find in them and see if I can see any weaknesses, I can see his strengths. Like I say, he's a good all-rounder. I'm expecting a good all-round fight to be honest you know there's gonna be a lot of standing there's gonna be a lot of takedown attempts there's gonna be a lot of grappling i think it's gonna be a, a good fight you know i think we statistically match up really well and um it's gonna be one to watch and like you said he's he's had quite a few submission wins i think quite early as well stoppages yeah. um has submission defense played quite a big role in this camp for you the will take down defense obviously plays a massive role for me. I just want to keep keep it to my on my feet and keep punching, you know. Um, obviously, I like to strike and like to look for that KO. So, take down defense is, is is massive for me, and that's why I was lacking in previous years. But now it's on form. And with it being your UFC debut, is there anything else in your camp that's changed, or is everything kind of stayed kind of quite normal? For you? It's just the focus, really. You know what I mean? The focus, the dietitian, and. Um, Having everything come together, you know, uh, actually Steve Collins come to the gym and done a little pep talk, I think it was about a year ago, maybe a little bit more, and he didn't know who I was at the time, and it was probably about under us on the mat, and he was saying, you know, that uh, at one point in his career, he wanted to have arms, so he was doing two, three hundred sit-ups a day, every single day, every single day, and he still can't get arms, and the, dietrist, uh, the strength and conditioning coach says to me, you know, you're actually smashing your abs down because you're doing them every day, you've got to give them a break, so you're not training right, and you're not eating right, you're not resting right, and he didn't really think of that, he just thought, I'll turn up, train and fight, and I'll always go hard. And actually, when he said I, I brought everyone on board, you know, the right dietitian, the right training partners, the right team, and everything comes together, it's, it, it's magical. And you can feel it, and I honestly believe at this camp, everything has come together well for me. Every, every box has a, has a glowing tick in it, and I'm, I'm going to perform on Saturday night. And fighting out of SPG, uh, obviously they've had a lot of big stars, especially Conor McGregor come out of there. So what's it like training there and uh, what kind of advice have they given you going into this fight? Um, yeah, it's just a top stable. Obviously Conor's given me uh, a lot of advice and a lot of tips. He also told me to tell you. He's not fighting on his card, right. so no more questions about him, or you'll cop an, unco an unfortunate one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then how do you see it going down on Saturday? I mean, what's, you've obviously had a lot of first round stoppages. Yeah, I'm looking for the first round knockout, of course. You know, I want to put on a performance for everyone. Um, I'd love to get the first round knockout and straight on to the next card. I'd like to be fighting in Dublin in May, hopefully. Right, okay. Uh, and have you got a lot of support coming? Obviously, you're one of two Welsh fighters that are on the card. So, do you think there's going to be a big uh, following from uh, from Wales? Do you know, there's actually um, it'll be a lot of Welsh people. There's actually a lot of Irish people flying over here, which I'm actually I'm buzzing for. Obviously, we got the Six Nations finals as well the same night, but I think they're making a good weekend of it and coming over. But I, I'm just happy, you know, as long as my my close friends and family are here. Uh, I'm over the moon for it, you know. Do you feel like you're maybe like an adopted Irishman now? Obviously, you live you live in John Kavanagh's uh, garden in a, in a in a caravan, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely feel that um, the Irish have taken to me, and I think you know the Irish and the Welsh are very similar. We're both Celts, even Scottish, you know, and, and we all like to get involved and get stuck in. And uh, yeah, you know, I, f I feel that. So, what's your prediction? What round are you looking for? 
Uh, I'll just be looking for, for a knockout, you know. I'll obviously be looking for it every, in every single round. I'll be looking for it till I get it. So if I can get it in the first, fantastic. If it comes in the second or third, equally as fantastic.